Hey guys, it's Arad from Huntington Company, and on today's episode of Wristwatch Check, we're going to be taking a look at the Seiko Lordmatic Yukio E dial. So let's get into it. All right. So this specific example is from the 1970s and it features its original Lordmatic mesh link-like bracelet that is actually super comfortable. But where the real attention is, is on the dial and the Yukio E dial. This example is actually fairly uncommon, but there is a mystery behind how these dials were really put together. And if they are the first modded Seikos that ever came about. And sadly, I don't know the exact answer to how these Yukio dials came about, but after doing my research with the little information that is out there, this is what I came up with. These watches were done by Japanese watchmakers at Seiko retail. And this I can fairly confirm because every time I found these watches with the specific Yukio E dials on them, they always came from Japan. You can't find these from let's say India, Pakistan, or wherever else where you see a lot of Frankenstein or aftermarket watches put together by Seiko and so on. These examples mainly do still come from Japan. So they were made by Japanese watchmakers, which means that they were done in-house with a watchmaker from a Seiko retailer in Japan. These examples were also said to be put together by the watchmakers for clients, tourists, and customers who were interested in making their Lordmatic a bit more special. At the same time, you could find some of these examples on King Seikos or Grand Seikos, but I think it makes more sense that we often see them on Lordmatics because these are the more affordable watches. So watchmakers were willing to do it on the more affordable stuff, but the Grand Seikos and the King Seikos were held at a higher regard, so they didn't really want to alter those watches themselves. But sometimes it was done maybe for certain clients. For me personally, I've only seen one of both examples with the King Seiko and Grand Seiko, so they are actually fairly rare. And both of them also had a special Yukio E stamp that you don't often see. And there comes the Yukio stamp. These examples are not specially painted or hand done or custom dials. These are original Lordmatic dials that are taken apart and a stamp is cut out. A Japanese Yukio E stamp is cut out and put on the dial itself and then it's put back together and there you go. You have this beautiful artistic Seiko now that you can enjoy and have something a bit more special than a simple Lordmatic. So no, I don't know the answer to why these Yukio dials were put together or who started it all. But what I do know is this was the first modded Seiko. So yes, Seikos were always meant to be modded and for the past 50 years they have been, starting in the 1970s with the Yukio E dials. These were modded. A dial was taken apart and a custom stamp was put on it to then be something more special. So the next time you look at your SKX with a modded bezel and dial and the configuration that you built yourself, remember where it all started. It started with the Lord Maddox from the 70s and a watchmaker in Japan somewhere put these dials together for people who wanted it. So yes, there is no answer to how these were put together. And no, they were not done by Seiko themselves, but they were done in Japan with Japanese stamps. And they are the first known modded Seikos. So these are still pretty special and they're not expensive in my opinion. Yes, the Lord Matic is a pretty affordable watch in the vintage watch market, but these where their special dials could still be had for under a thousand dollars. You're getting something a bit more special. So keep that in mind. I know some people are against these watches because there's not much information out there and nobody knows where these came from, but I think that's what makes this fun. It's an affordable watch. So a little bit of mystery doesn't hurt. So if you were ever interested in something like this with a little bit of Japanese heritage on a Seiko, then take a look at the Seiko Yukio E dials. For a few hundred dollars, you can have something a bit more special. And I promise you, it's not gonna be often that you see anybody else on social media or in person having the same watch as you. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. And if you're interested in any Seiko Yukio E dials, check out our vintage watch shop. We might have a few offerings just like this example, or feel free to reach out and I'll be happy to help finding you the perfect piece to add to your collection. So thank you guys again so much and I will see you guys in the next one.